Hey YouTube, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Game Finders Game Mod 07. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for, for uh, coming by, for watching, for subscribing, uh, and all that other good stuff. Um, this is going to be a quicker video than usual. I, I wasn't able to find much uh, this week, uh, but I was able to find a lot of goodness, and that goodness comes in the form of Sega this week. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. The first one was a care package that I received from one of my subscribers. Uh, Wesley from Newport Ritchie, Florida. Uh, he sent in the package and I'd like to say thank you very much Wesley. It's greatly appreciated and you helped me out substantially so I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much Wesley. He was able to send me uh, Sega Saturn 3D controller. Uh, a lot of people associate this with uh, the Nights into, the, into Dreams and the Christmas edition of Nights into Dreams as well. Which is a perfect game uh, to go with it but this controller is really good for a lot of other games uh, like uh, Sonic R for instance um, pretty much any other racing game because you wanna you wanna have that that analog uh, control scheme on certain games and and if you ever play Sonic Sonic R with a regular D-pad it's it's not that comfortable so I, I needed it just I needed this controller just for that game in particular because Without it, it just is just a lot worse than what it is. Um, and coming off right off the bat, Sonic R is not an amazing game by any stretch of the imagination. But this was greatly appreciated. So Wesley, thank you if you're watching, uh, and I hope you uh, like the care package I sent back to you as well. Okay, I was able to pick up a, a Saturn game as well locally, which is amazing because those games. Uh, in my experience, Sega Saturn and Turbo Graphics games are really hard, next to impossible to find in the wild. But I was made, I was able to uh, manage to pick up one, and uh, I was very happy to do so. And I got it from a good friend of mine that that owns a retro video game store. His name is James. James, if you're watching, uh, thank you. I'm just still amazed at how impeccably in good shape this case is. I mean. If anybody collects for Saturn that subscribes to me, you already know that these these hinges on these Sega Saturn cases are notorious for, for just getting brittle and chipped and completely broken beyond repair. But this one was in good shape. And this is uh, The Lost World Jurassic Park. Uh, don't remember too much about it at the time when it came out, but I, I do remember that there were a lot of Jurassic Park games. Uh, and I enjoy none of them so hopefully uh, this will sway my opinion on the Jurassic Park franchise as far as the video games go and I hope it turns out to be an enjoyable one so James if you're watching thanks man I appreciate it alright I was able to score um, some Sega Dreamcast stuff as well so I'll get, go ahead and get the, the freebies out of the way and this one was uh, freebies contributed to me by uh, a good friend of mine Mark in the uh, in California. Mark, if you're watching, thanks, man. It's a lot of thank yous to go out this episode. Uh, he was able to hook it up with some manuals. I was able to receive the Ready to Rumble manual, the backing for Ready to Rumble, a uh, manual for Samba the Amigo, which I don't have yet, but I am on the hunt for, believe me. Another game I'm on the hunt for, Zombie Revenge. was able to get the manual for that. A game I already have, but this makes up uh, an extra manual I have for, for me to go ahead and put it towards my my trade bait or trade equity pile if you want to call it that is GTA 2 manual and Soul Calibur manual it's very good to have these like I said I mean you go ahead and um, put it towards a trade with somebody that's you know looking for these or, or has a loose game and wants to complete the, the game itself so it's always good to have these so thanks a lot Mark I appreciate it alright let's go ahead and finish off the video with what I picked up uh, for the rest of the week this is all Sega, and this is all Dreamcast, and uh, maybe one or two of these I already actually have, so it's going to go uh, towards finding another home eventually, but a lot of these I didn't have, so I'm very happy to have, so let's go ahead and take a look. I was able to pick up South Park Chef's Love Shack. Now, I remember the reviews for this game, um, they weren't that great, but I like 
unique, obscure, weird games, and this is one of them. This is a, I like to think it was a, a spoof on, on Jeopardy, where you were asked trivia questions about the TV series, and they all had different little mini games that you could do as well. Uh, so it's, it's kind of cool to have variety when it comes to your collection. So this is one of those games that, you know, I refer to when I speak about that. This game, this game I was excited to have, uh, cause I remember hearing good things about it, but it came out late towards, uh, the Sega Dreamcast, uh, lifespan, as far as North America goes, and, um, I never got a chance to enjoy it or play it at all, so, now that I have it in the collection, I'm pretty psyched, and that's Wild Metal from Rockstar Games. Just think, uh, Master Blaster. Uh, but in a 3D world, and uh, if that doesn't pique your interest, I don't, I don't think you'll like the game at all. Next, a uh, game I, I played in arcades, uh, not obsessively, but at the time, Konami was a beast, and uh, I, I played anything they put out, so I'm very happy to have it now in the Dreamcast collection. That game is Silent Scope. I was also able to pick up Power Stone finally. Uh, got this in a trade. And I'm um, very happy to have picked it up. I was also able to pick up Expendable. Uh, this one was high on my list because I, I like the, the run and gun style games, the Contra S style games. I mean, who does it, right? So, uh, the only one left on my list that I still have to actively, actively look for for my Dreamcast collection is Zombie Revenge. Uh, like you saw before, I already had the manual for it, but I, I am actively seeking that game out because I remember it was very fun. And uh, I will find you eventually. Alright, next. I was able to pick up Red Dog. Looks like another uh, fun title from Crave. Got another Konami Jam here, Air Force Delta. This one I was able to pick up loose, uh, but I'm doing a lot of uh, CD case to DVD case uh, conversions, as you see in the back there, for my uh, Sega Saturn and my Sega Dreamcast collection. So if I find these loose, as long as the disc is in good shape and there's no disc rot, I'm, I'm taking them, especially if the price is right. This title here is Dave Mira. Yeah, isn't it? Dave Mira Freestyle BMX. Never played it. Uh, but I heard this is basically, uh, like, uh, those scanning games. I forgot the guy's name, but, um, I'll, I'll check it out. Like I said, I like to have variety and as much people make, as much as I think people make fun of sports titles, they're still around for a reason. Uh, I'm not saying they're relevant, but I'm telling you they're not, not fun. If that makes any sense. All right, I got four more games. This one, I, these two, I need the controller for. I need that fishing controller for. Uh, I haven't been able to find one. I, the ones I have seen, the people were asking obscene prices for, and I, I, I really don't want to contribute to that cause if the price isn't right. So I know eventually I'll find them, and when I do, I'll be able to enjoy these games. These two in particular, Sega Marine Fishing and Sega Bass Fishing. Fun games, I'm sure, with the regular controller, but with the fishing controller, they must be amazing. Alright, last but not least, we gotta finish up with some sports titles. Like I said, some of these I don't have and I need for the collection. I'm, I'm trying to shoot towards a complete collection for North American releases for the Dreamcast. But it may or may not be easy, depending on, on uh, what the trends are uh, at the moment. But I was able to pick these two up. I wanted them. I needed them, so... I'm happy they found a good home with me. And that is NCAA 2K2 College Football with Drew Brees on the cover. That's that's definitely a throwback. That guy's got to be like, what, in his late 30s or anything? And last but not least, I was able to pick up another copy of NHL 2K, which will go to the trade pile. All right, guys, that's it. That pretty much wraps up the video. It was uh, some quick pickups for the week. Uh, I don't want to say anything amazing or but nothing that's pretty much corny uh, as far as I'm concerned I'm ho I hope that you had an amazing week as well picking up 
whatever you did pick up as far as your retro obsession is involved. Um, anytime I'm able to pick up any Saturn, Sega Saturn swag, it's a good week for me. And to me, the MVP of this week was the Sega Saturn uh, 3D control pad. I'm very happy that I got it. And I'm um, looking forward to enjoying a lot of uh, Saturn games using that controller setup. And it's amazing. Uh, there's a... I like to say it's an, an un, unofficial debate and it's one that comes up a lot in the forums that I go to and the people that I talk to that are in the hobby and and everybody knows this was a precursor to the Dreamcast controller but the debate that's ongoing is why Sega felt the need to evolve from this to what this you know the Sega Dreamcast controller ended up being why couldn't it stay the shape that it was because to me, this this control, when you put it in your hands, it just feels a lot better, a lot comfortable, uh, a, a lot less obtuse. Uh, for those of you who understand that word, than the Sega Dreamcast controller did and, and was. So um, it's always a debate about stuff like that. But I mean, it's one of those debates you don't really get an answer or a resolution on. It's just potato, potato, tomato, tomato. You either like it or you don't. That's basically it. But anyways, uh, I want to thank you again for watching as always. I appreciate the thumbs up, the thumbs down, uh, the good and bad comments. It just means people are watching and I appreciate that. So like always, God bless, stay safe, and happy hunting.